Hey guys, what's up? This is Titus back with another video and today we are going to be unboxing the one plus three. Okay, note to self, maybe don't make fun of like the most famous unboxer in your very first unboxing video. Now I uh, loved my uh, one plus one, but this was its fate. Enter in this fellow. I need to find something sharp. Okay, this isn't exactly sharp, but I think it will work. Maybe I should have like a knife. I gotta say like OnePlus always has a really nice unboxing experience. That is a pretty looking phone. Holy cow. People are right, this thing is very thin. Let's look and see what else is in the box. Yeah. in here. Looks like inside of this thing, there's some type of booklet. Quick user start guide. User guide. Stickers. You got the actual key to get the SIM tray unopened. Here's the dash charger that apparently can get you like a full days of battery in 30 minutes. I think that's what I heard. Here is the ever so famous OnePlus USB cord. I still use my original one. And this one looks like really heavy duty. Very nice. This is a like very premium looking phone. It does look a little bit like an HTC 10, but I, I don't know, I, I think it's different enough. Let's just turn it on and let's see what I can get with it. How I miss that logo. I have not seen that logo in so long. One of the things I was really wanting to hear on this thing was the actual speakers itself. I mean, it's loud enough. I mean, I guess what else was I expecting? It's a bottom facing speaker. It's not boom sound or anything. It's loud enough. The feel in the hand is really good. Like, it feels very light. Um, some people said that they didn't like the camera bump. And actually, I'll even point them out. MKBHD, awesome guy, love your YouTube channel. I'm gonna disagree with you. I don't mind camera bumps at all. But what I like to do is put an OtterBox on here or something like that. Because the camera bump is protruding and the rest of the phone isn't, it actually makes the entire phone a little bit slimmer, yet the camera still gets a nice shield of protection on top of it. Now, you may be wondering the specs. Those things are all over the place, but if you haven't seen them, a couple ones that are notable, uh, six gigs of RAM, the 820 Snapdragon processor, that is like top of the line processor. Um, that's the same one I believe in the S7 and a couple other phones as well. Okay guys, I'm gonna spend the next week with this phone and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. So I uh, spent the uh, last last week with the uh, OnePlus 3. And... All right, you're probably wondering if I'm gonna record the rest of this with a mustard stain on my face and a mustard stain on my shirt, and the answer is yes. Here are my thoughts of the OnePlus 3 after one full week of use. After I did my unboxing, a couple days later, my OtterBox and my tempered glass screen protector came in. As you can see, the camera bump is safely protected by the OtterBox. So in my experience, the battery life was actually very solid. The first day I used it, I Snapchatted, I text, I was literally on a conference call for four hours, watched about 30 minutes of YouTube, listened to, uh, I think, an audiobook or a podcast for about two hours. I got a full day's use out of this device and I ended the day with 20% battery life. Also, when you're not actually using your phone, this phone literally sips battery life. I'm talking about one to 2% per hour. I was actually pretty happy with the software. I didn't really run into any bugs. It seems like a pretty solid operating system from what they've constructed. I actually did find their shelf, which you swipe to the left to get to. Um, I kind of like it. You, it's really nice because you can put widgets on it and then you can scroll up and down with the widgets, which you can't do on a regular screen. I really couldn't get the NFC to work exactly the way it should. I believe it'll work with Android Play. I saw some forums say that it will work, but I couldn't get it to transfer a large file from one phone to my phone or my phone to another phone. I tried this with two different devices, but I did get a YouTube link to transfer over. So it looks like you can transfer small things, but even something as small as a picture, I couldn't get over. It's kind of funny, like people are really excited that the NFC is back, 
Which is funny because OnePlus said, we got rid of the NFC because nobody used it. And then people complained, but nobody noticed it actually doesn't work the way that an NFC normally worked. Maybe OnePlus was right? Now I actually did use this thing as an actual phone and the qual quality was good. The speakerphone volume was plenty loud, at least for my uses. I could use it while driving, and my car is definitely not noise isolated. The person on the other end did not complain that they were hearing a lot of road noise. They could hear me clearly. I could hear them. Now, the form factor is somewhere between an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 6 Plus. It probably leans a little bit more to the iPhone 6 Plus in size. I'm not a huge fan of the rounded corners on the screen. I have a, a tempered glass screen protector and it can't go all the way to the edges. It can't slope in a way that the screen slopes. So it cuts off right a few millimeters off each side of the edge, which is a little bit annoying. It doesn't really impact user experience, it just kind of irks me a little bit. Some people are disappointed by the fact that it still supports a 1080p screen. As long as you're not using the VR element, I don't think this is a big deal at all. In fact, putting this right next to my wife's S6, you really don't notice the pixels whatsoever. The screen really pops because of that optic AMOLED screen. Actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, the optic AMOLED screen is just a bunch of marketing crap. Basically all it is, is a super AMOLED screen where they just adjusted the color temperature slightly, but it does have a really nice screen, like the blacks are literally black. The alert slider options are really cool. If it's down, it means you get notifications like normal. If it's in the middle, it means you get priority notifications, which you can actually change who your contacts are to get text messages and phone calls from. And then if you slide it all the way to the top, that means no notifications. The fingerprint sensor on this thing is so fast. Because it's not a button and it's just a very, very quick fingerprint sensor, I just can quickly just boom and it's unlocked. It really irks me that this phone has the same amount of gigs in terms of storage as my OnePlus One did, but I kind of got over it. The shots on this camera are very, very detailed and I like it because it it's still a very nice looking picture, but it's not too overly saturated to where it's like, wow, the colors. It looks more realistic and more true. And the front facing camera is perfect for selfies, which I don't really take a lot of selfies, but for Snapchat, it was really nice, very vivid. I love how clear it is. Also love the fact that it's so detailed that I can see the divots in my face. I thought it did a great job. Releasing in tandem with this unboxing and review is a vlog that I did from start to finish with this phone. I used the audio, I used the video, I used it all. I used a app called Cinema 4K and it gave me some extra options that I felt like I could use with the vlog. It gives a, you a full picture of what this camera is capable of because I also color graded it from start to finish as well. So go check it out. I'm really excited with how it did. All in all, I say this camera is an absolute buy. This is an awesome, awesome camera. For 399 bucks, you can't beat it. And it goes toe to toe with the best phones out there like the S7, the iPhone 6S. And honestly, I think in terms of the fact that it's got six gigs of RAM, this one is going to hold its weight class for much longer than those. If your phone is two years old or older and you've been itching for an upgrade like I was, this is definitely the phone to get as long as the things that I talked about appeal to you. 